cool is that? All those elements available. That's me. <laughs> Saucy, man. Oh, that's such a huge... Where is it? This is how big that sounds. Crazy. In fact, <laughs> want to know something cool? By the way, hello. Welcome. My name is John Skippy Limpool. Pleasure to see you. This is Noisebox. And this is a library I created a little over 20 years ago. And it still sounds pretty cool in 2021, don't you think? Every one of these grooves I've shown you, you have. A, B, and C, A, B, C, I can say A, B, C, uh, grooves, big groove, a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. And then you have all the elements. And for test drive, if we go up here and look at the list, there's three kicks. There's a snare. tambourine, shaker, and then four loops. This loop, <laughs> I had bought a new video game for my Xbox. Like This is like 20 years ago. And I brought it home and I started to play it. And I hear this all over the place. And it was Splinter Cell, which is a wonderful, super cool game. Loved it. I think I even got to the end of it. It was really, really good. But this uses a noise box quite a bit. Another place that uh, noise box was used in a really cool way. I will show you this as the actual drum loop up here because I got to speed it up from its original tempo. Not only are these grooves available as loops, like I was showing you, there's actually a folder you can unzip when you download this library. It has the noise box loops wave files which is what i've been playing you right now not only that but they're also available in recycle format which means uh the whole thing is there you can slow it down because every little timing event i have meticulously carefully processed sample edited multiple times Thousands of hours spent sampling, editing these loops 20 years ago, and I did quite a bit of work to some of the recycle files this time around in 2021 because there's tools here I can use I didn't have available to me back then to fix some things. But this loop, let's see, if we go 120 beats per minute and we go to kick number one. Bum, bum, bum. Play Lady Gaga the fame, and it starts with this. <laughs> it was very, very funny to hear that for the first time and go, oh, they used a drum loop from this library. Pretty cool. So these samples have been used a lot, no doubt. Over the last 20 years, they've found lots of places to be used. But part of the reason for that is because there's a ton of flexibility because every one of these big grooves that you hear, they're broken down. So you can just, just this kick or the snare or this cymbal with this loop. You can use just elements. That's just four of the 10 elements in this group.
there's 424 separate recycled Groove files. And because of the fun stuff with Unify, where you can say, ah, let's use the kick from here and let's right click and use a kick from another pattern and let's go down to another one and let's, let's see, let's open this up a little bit so we can read the words a little better. Hey, let's have some noise from Burial Ground and then let's have these two loops from Secret Agent and hit play on your keyboard. And it's like, wow, cool. Let's add these snares. Even while it's playing, I'm adding parts. I want to add some high energy, so let's go here and add. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go to VRAM, Cowbell, sure, why not? And Hi-Hat 2. So you can make grooves like you were like drinking water, basically. So there's 424 individual elements. Every one of the grooves has an A, B, and C. And then I go from A being the biggest groove to C being the smallest groove. On top of that, below this you see all the elements, the hats. the loops, and it's all over the place. I had so much fun making these loops. It's like, those can't work together. That doesn't sound like they should work together, but you put the three together and... Then you turn that down and you put that into the whole mix and you get... Right? And then this final thing at the top, before the ABC, is all of the elements together so that they're all listed here. Here's all 11 groove parts used together. And what's fun with this, I go to this snare part. I could add reverb to this, go reverb. Let's add, oh, let's say a nice room. And that high spussy part. Let's say I want to use Jitterbox and I'm going to put a random timing trick in here. Set it to eighth notes. Click the little white arrow, span it to the right so it has this whole range and say simple note times. Now it's randomized. <laughs> Let's take this part, let's go over here to Guru Sampler and let's set its timing to quarter notes. Actually, let's say eighth notes and pitch. And let's go over here to sample and hold. And let's go over here and let's add distortion. I want power curve. Then I'm gonna set this to high pass because I only want to filter the high frequencies for distortion. Cool. So you can mess stuff up so easily. And on top of this, on top of this, my friends, you have access to all of your audio effects to go crazy, 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 put shimmer verbs and all that stuff. There's a new effect that just came out that's super cool. I suggest you guys look at from Devious Machines. Check this out. I'll show you just real quickly. Then, then I'll show you my library, but <laughs> I'm showing you somebody else's stuff. Infiltrator. Check this puppy out. It can do up to 10 different effects. Oh, here, let's do this. I'll, I'll call up a preset so it sounds really cool. Let's go to extremes. Um, <laughs> That's doing that to this. So any effects that you own can immediately be put onto these loops. So it's super, super fun. On top of that, if you scroll down the list, um, I'm going to do a patch walkthrough of each of the loops so you can hear them. So stick around for a second. 
Um, there's all sorts of things where I'm using like the combo box to set up a vocoder where the left side is a noise box groove. That gives it the combination of the MIDI box playing the MIDI file and groove sampler. And then over here, I just have one of the really cool bright synth pads. And then there's an ABCD because I took this from simple, just a basic vocoder to here's with a pad. to a pad with little happy twinkly stuff. To the whole kitchen sink with bass. Okay, so you have those to play with. Uh, snake. Um, then there's uh, here, where it says loop. Those are the wave files that we played at the very, very beginning. I'm gonna save these two for the end because they're really, really cool. Down below here are bonus grooves where I'm using all of the different grooves, making my own combinations of, as you can see, different like Big Boy with Tempest, with Pulsatilla, Ghost, Suburbs. Oh, stink, man, stink! Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so fun. I think they saw me. Uh, on top of this, as you're hearing, there's different things that have pitch. I went through and I pulled out all the ones that had pitch and I tuned them, which means you can. Let's add this. Let's add a talking drum to it. It's tuned. <laughs> so there's so much stuff to play with. Um, I'll show you one more thing and then we'll play the full library just to hear you. Let's show you what the different 32 grooves are. There's one here that I'm really proud of called Eternity Calling. This is 90 Unify plugins to create this. We have this ability as of Unify 1.4 where we can turn on and off the layers seamlessly. So I can turn on the drums and the piano. And I want the drums off. I just want the piano. And I want everybody back on. I'm just pushing buttons over here on my little, I got a Korg Nano control. You can use any keyboard controller. Right? Well, I took it a step further you actually can program these knobs, which are doing all sorts of cool things to the grooves. I'll show you when we get to the grooves. But on the second page, layer on and off are set up as knobs. So I could take three and four, and as you see, it grays out the layers. They haven't started yet until they get new notes. Like this, turn off one, two, and three. So we just have the drums. Oh wait, number three. Fifty percent is where the on office. Hear how everything keeps ringing out? It doesn't cancel anything. It is just like the most cool, 
freaking capability on the planet. <laughs> And then there's solo I have set up. So you can just turn on and off parts by solo. If you look at these, you'll see, if I go over here and say link parameters, that's the term that needs to be used to set this up. So if you were to copy this knob and go to, let's say, to the standard library to say any patch, And I want to be able to mute that part. Well, I can just go over here to a knob that's not being used and say paste knob. And now that is set up to turn on and off layer one. And if I want it now, oh, I want it to be layer two. All you have to do is go link parameters, double click the name, believe it or not, change it from a one to a two. And now it's turning on and off part two or Double click the name, change it to 3, 4, 16, whatever. And that layer is now under the control of a knob inside of Unify. So that patch in the noise box library is the first patch that has the ability to turn on and off the layers in the presets. We've had this ability for a little while, but I hadn't set up any patches that were doing this by knob. This is the first patch to do that. If you want, look at the types. You've got to make sure that you type this command exactly as it is. It's unify small cap MIDI, enable the E being capitalized, score one, and then that will, uh, whatever knob you set to that, now that knob, there's a 50% point when it goes to 51%, it will go from on to off. So there you go. Okay. So uh, there's one more really cool bonus thing. I love this one. This is kind of like some sort of like Boards of Canada. I'm using latch in the left hand. I play G again. Everything stops. Really, really fun. So explore these patches. I kind of tried to push the boundaries on some of them to do different things. Okay, so that's I, I want to get tips and tricks kind of out front instead of at the end for something different. Just so you see what you can do, what comes with this library. There's 495 patches. There's over 13,000 samples. Uh, my friends, if you want this library, you go to this website, which is my website, pluginguru.com. And if you get over here to the first thing in the list and click the retro future, um, there it is. Now this library, let me let me give you a little quick history. This library came out in 2001 as an audio CD for $99. And the C CD ROMs for the Akai S1000 or the Roland S700 series samplers was $199. And now <laughs> the library is on sale for $42. Its retail is $49. Uh, it goes back to $49 on June 13th, three days before my birthday. Uh, after 2001, five years later, we brought it out for Stylus RMX. And it still lives in Stylus RMX. And if you own Stylus RMX, you should get both that and you should get Big Bad Beats, both of my drum loop libraries, which now are both in Unify format as well. But they're available for Stylus RMX at the ilio.com our wonderful distributors and dear friends, website, Big Bad Beats, Noise Box, Stark Raving Beats, and Bashiri Johnson has an incredibly cool percussion library, which if you don't own those, you should get those. They're, they're super cool. They give Stylus RMX some much needed fresh blood if you don't own them, okay? All right, so 32 grooves. I'm gonna play from the loop page, just because right here I can just click one and play all of them fairly quickly. 
But just to show you, if we go suburbs, okay, down here are the loops. I'm gonna go back to the top view for a minute. Um, across the keyboard is A, B, C, and then the elements. Right? Snare, tambourine. That's it. So there's six group elements, right? Okay. Up here, that A groove is recreated, but now it's recreated. So there's actually seven. I didn't count right. Um, there's seven instrument layers. Snare, hi-hats, tambourine, loop one, loop two, Loop three. Now, when you play it from the loop page, you can't change the tempo. You have to set your sequencer to 73 beats per minute and work with these loops at this tempo. If you use the above BPM drum versions of any of these things that say BPM drum, that means it's following the tempo of your sequencer or of the transport here in Unify on the little transport page. If I change this tempo, it will speed up and slow down. And because, let's do it this way. Let's go to a loop, right? I'm gonna turn off the MIDI file player MIDI box. And by doing that, the sounds are now, see here on the keyboard. If I play in the right sequence, I can recreate that groove myself. And what's fun with this is if you turn off MIDI box, find a kick, find a hi-hat, find the snare, and you can make any groove you want. And try to find a couple of different kicks. Find a couple snares, so you can do a flammy thing if you want. You can play whatever you want with any of these grooves in their BPM drum form just by turning off MIDI box. MIDI box is a MIDI file player. It has loop one set up. If I go to loop one and I set this to be something other, like say let's play loop three. That's the part that's supposed to be doing this one. But I'd gone over here and I had been using loop one. So the loop is married to the Guru sampler version of the same name. Although you can have some really good fun using MIDI files and different sample maps. It's really, really fun. So experiment with that if you want to like, what's fun with this is this is a whole bunch of clay pieces that can either be well-defined or really loosely shaped and it's up to you to be creative and give it its shape in unique ways. So lots of ways to work with this stuff, okay? So each one of these grooves has the loop, has the full mix without ABC in the name, just the suburbs, and then ABC are the big, medium, and small versions, and then all the elements. So that exists for every one of the loops that I'm gonna show you. Beanstalk. Smaller mix B and C. Tire screech. If you play them all at the same time, they work really well. Lost satellite. This is absinthe I used to make this sound. Uh, here's PCH. So a 
lot of these are four major long grooves, so there's cool diversity. Yeah. Isn't that cool? And again, because the other thing you can do with this is really cool. Let's go to Chunky. So I'm going to type up here Chunk. Chunk. Um, chunky has swing to it, right? If you go over here and open MIDI box, you can click and drag, and that makes the MIDI file become available that you can now drag into your DAW, and you can quantize this. So then you can quantize it to strict synth notes, so then it would no longer have the, the swing, it would be to straight, so. Instead of how it's played changes how it feels. Okay. So all sorts of things like that can be done. Uh, after chunky, get back down here. It's so fun to play these again after so long and have them in Unify where you can just right click. Oh, so cool. Isn't that cool? Reverby tambourines. I use real shakers and tambourines and stuff at times. Big synth pad. This comes from an M1 where the um, power supply was going bad. There's all this weird aliasy stuff that happened to the sound, so I sampled it. Gosh, that's like 30 years ago. At Korg's offices in Canoga Park. Matrix. That cool. Silly putty. This is the Nord lead in the back of my room back here. I've still got it. That's the virus. And I put some sort of a gate on it. So it, like cut stuff off. Strut. This has a cool fill out at the end. <laughs> and then the open hi hat hits right after it. Okay, bombshell. Uh, Big Brother. This is me playing my kalimba. I have a number of kalimbas and I just... Little New Orleans style snare. Okay, Vulture Bay. And again, just taking a couple of the elements. That can make a really nice groove all by itself, just the kick, snare, and the hat. Junkyard. at the end.
So all sorts of great stuff in here. Oh boy! All right, Tropolis. Big 80s, 90s snare. So having them on the keyboard makes it just so you can just immediately play them. Trank. Again, simplifying things is very easy just by choosing one of the other mixes or a combination. Like say Trank, let's go to Trank. So go Trank. If you wanted to make a simple mix from this, all you have to do is say choose like kick one, add kick two, um, add the snare, and then add the hi-hats. And right there. Right? And then if you want, you can right click on the high notes for all these, play low C, and then hold down option and click up so that these go 24 semitones up because we're two octaves down from where we were. Go to here, say MIDI in, and turn on latch for all four of these. And then turn on latch, and now you have a drum groove that can play. Set this up to like manual stop, something like that. So that way, then you can go to anywhere in the library, choose anything you want sound wise, because I now have this little groove at the bottom of the keyboard that I made really quickly and go to pads or keys say load this and if you go over here and use other things that are BPM based let's say BPM pad Let's add this, turn this down, and let's say BPM, ton of strings. It all works, right? So you can set up pretty easy using latch mode setting the key top range to the lowest note you want on the keyboard so that way the rest of the keyboard is empty for you to like load up other sounds. Off you go. So this is stuff I'm showing you that is more suited to standalone of Unify instead of in a DAW, because in a DAW, the tempo's controlled. Uh, start and stop is a little bit different as far as the, the clock goes. Um, but you might be able to do it also in your DAW if you have it running. Just have your DAW running. Anyway, so that's how you can quickly take these and put them into all sorts of other contexts beyond just drum loops, you know, how to use it in the real world. So we were on Trank. Here's Manglewood. Uh, burial Ground. Uh, Secret Agent. Has a killer fill at the end. Eight measures long. Here we go. Thank 
Mexiko. Uh, Stun Gun. VRAM. I love that one. This was so hard to recycle. Oh my god. Took forever. That's loop four from VRAM. But I did it. Uh, VRAM. Loop four. So it's cool when they're recycled. You can play up the key. Way down the keyboard. Also, I should point out the knobs are really cool for these. Choose whole of VRAM. Filter the whole thing. Decay. The pitch. Pretty cool. Random timing. Speed and MIDI velocity for the MIDI files. And then this is super cool. Pump house. On all of the parts, every part has a pump house. This turns them all to be strong depth or in between. Let's give it a little shape, a little bump. That's the case with every groove. So you have all that to play with, which is really, really cool. Uh, okay, so we were on VRAM, camshaft. Right, ghost. This is the drum loop I played at the studio. I had my time on the kit. Cool. Uh, Hulk. Cool. Pulsatilla. Okay, Raptor. At the end. Uh, Yukon. Here's where I played my ocarina. I played a Taos drum. I went to New Mexico and bought a Taos drum like 20 years ago. What's in there? Snake. And again, because of the BPM drum ones, if you go Snake, you could go to the full mix, go to tempo, set it to like a 95 beats per minute. If you slow down loops, it's a good idea to go to the knobs, shorten the decay. It'll sit a little better. Also, if you take down the pitch, shorten the decay as well. It'll make it sound less flabby. 
Now it keeps jumping up on pitch because I have this parameter in MIDI box turned on called note chorus. If I turn that off, now it'll stay there. Or wherever I put it. But if you call this up while well, it just by default. do all sorts of crazy pitchy things like that. All right, uh, test drive. That's the one from uh, <laughs> Splinter Cell. And then Tempest. So that's the library. There's 32 grooves. All of the elements for every groove you hear are included, recycled, so you can change the tempo, mess them up. Make sure you play with such fun things as, if you go over here to uh, just a groove, it's a BPM groove, like a loop. Go to MIDI box. You can do things where you change the root. That changes the pitch. Go to Jitterbox, change the timing to be clock-based, like eighth notes. Click the light color triangle to the right. Set it to simple times, like eighth notes. And now it's randomized. And the best way to have that work is to combine it with something else that's going to be staple and going ahead, like let's choose Raptor. So now you have a groove, but you have something like kind of changing the groove so the repetition isn't there. And then search through all the bonus grooves, get ideas, play with all the tuned patches. Go over to other libraries like Cloud City. Let's add a vocal chop. Let's add a BPM bass. Go over here to our vocal chop. Let's put water verb really long on it. <laughs> then let's add pump house to the dynamics. Uh, let's go to presets and choose the uh, saw down and choose like 16th notes. So the, the, the ways of using this are large. Just be creative, play with all the tools, have fun. As always, thank you for your support. And uh, see you in the next video.